we went to Trader Joe's after dropping my mother-in-law off at the airport. And okay, we got some frozen stuff. I'm gonna show you guys frozen stuff first so I can put this in the freezer. All right, I got some shomai. I really love these. And oh my god, this is so good. Oh, sun dried tomato. Do you want this in a freezer, babe, or just a regular fridge? This sausage. Freezer? Both of them? Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the sun dried tomato sausage, and this is the oh, spicy jalapeno sausage. Yum. We got some hash browns. This is my fave. I've tried this before. This is the limeade uh, fresh squeezed lemon. Lemon? Yeah, lemon right here. And then got some orange peach mango. Try that as well. It's really good. And in the second bag, we got some chips, fridge cut chips. And ooh, this is it. Uh, the tortilla chips. This is the quinoa and black beans infused chips. Right here. And we got some tomatoes. Right here, tomatoes. More of these because he likes this one right here. This is the rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime. Right here. We got some. Uh, bread which is French bread right here for toast and we got some what is this? pita bread pita bread there's sourdough Ooh, sourdough, sourdough bread and we got some minced garlic we got two navel oranges and we got stock for our seasoning, which is the citrusy garlic right here. We got, we got two because we ran out of it. And we got some more of the chili lime, one of the best, and also the onion salt. And peanut butter. Crunch and salt, yeah, unsalted peanut butter. And this, for some reason, is cheap. This is the extra virgin olive oil. Look how big it is. $7.99. Um. <laughs> and then, one more bag. Right here. Is we got, or... Are you going to plant this? <laughs> Wait, you, mean I, you got it for me. It's organic cilantro, which is, we're growing some greens now. I don't know how am I gonna grow that, probably transfer in the pot. And I got some brown eggs, large brown eggs. Look we'll how pretty that is. Oh. Yeah, that's my water. That's clean. Some eggs. And we got Brussels sprouts. We got some berry, ooh, blueberries. And ooh, hummus. What you get? Spicy hummus dip. Yum. And then fresh garlic right here. I got three cloves. And then um, I also got some mushrooms because we like to eat mushrooms in the house. So that's for the haul. Bestie update. Um. So I got the labels already on these two and I am such a freak. <laughs> I try to, um, I use this so I can label, I mean the labels are like even because if they're like even it's going to drive me crazy. But so far in these two it's good. So what I did is use this as a sample and use, not like this so I know where I'm putting the, um, the labels and I, you know, I go use this to kind of like draw a line so I can put the label and turns out good. So I think this is gonna be um, how I 
put all the labels it's gonna be in the middle and so i also laid out the uh how do you call this the organizer uh like i said you can get this from amazon and what i'm gonna do is just like lay them like this like that so when when like we're cooking all the spices are just like in this drawer right here and it would be you know it looks good and it's aesthetically pleasing so i'm gonna do that while i'm watching a, a movie all right here's the progress almost done i kind of put the well not kind of i did put the chicken bouillon in here the cubes but i didn't put the lid on like the plastic one i just cover it with the lid so it's like easier for me to like just grab the bouillon i don't know kind of looks fancy that way <laughs> But some of these seasons are really low. Um, some of them are like really big because we normally get these at BJ's before, like the rosemary, uh, especially the garlic powder. Because we always, always put garlic powder on anything. Um, you know, the cilantro. The, these are the dried ones: cilantro, the thyme, and the oregano. So, still working my way. Some of the seasoning don't have the label, so thank God for this one right here because i'm gonna just like write it down so far this is how it looks we got some garlic powder here white pepper we got the bay leaves chive parsley basil italian seasoning the cilantro and we got some curry powder we got some turmeric we got some pumpkin spice here the cinnamon the uh, cayenne pepper paprika red pepper flakes and some cajun seasoning so this will be full um in a little bit so i just already love the way it turns out look at the progress that we made that i made um so this is some of the seasoning just some of the seasoning okay i still have more and i think after that i'll fill all of these on the side and in the back if you guys can see it my camera will focus but in the back i kept the um how do you call this the backup so i got the onion salt chili lime the citrusy garlic the everything with the elote got more bay leaves and mrs dash so i just kind of like left it at the back for you know like the backup because we use a lot of these seasonings and so i figured that the first row is where i put the um how do you call this the one that we always use which is of course salt pepper we got the white pepper here the garlic powder um we don't have the onion powder I forgot about that but we do have the mince onion maybe we'll get like some onion powder babe we don't have onion powder um you got the bagel seasoning here these the one that don't have the sticker i just write it down because it comes with the white marker so i tried to just um copy this right here um we got some these are the trader joe seasoning right here the onion salt the omami and then we have some how do you call this this side is uh how do you call that uh for the steak we got some steak and chop, we got some meat tenderizer, steak grub, and all that stuff. And then I kind of just like color coordinate them around here, like all the dried everything. The basil, chives, parsley, um, yeah, basil, chives, parsley, cilantro, rosemary, thyme, and some oregano. And around here is where the cinnamon, pumpkin spice around here and i just put the beef bouillon as well together with the um, so there's chicken bouillon and beef bouillon cubes around here so that's what it looks like looks a lot it took a couple of hours i, I would say target haul i just got home from target and i want to show you guys what i got all right first bag i got some drying mat for the dishes i got some this was on sale like and it was on clearance and it's a dollar and fifty originally three dollars uh, kitchen towel and i also have this from project 62 which is another kitchen towel for 
this is two pack uh, this is very thick then this is a little thin which is like from the brand rooms essential and the project 62 is a little bit more thicker so I got this on black because I just I mean you can never go wrong with black and then I also got the I was gonna order this at Amazon I don't know now it's sticking shit um, but it's the sponge and brush caddy right here so I can put the brushes over there. Look what I found at Target. So the Target in Maryland, in my, yeah, the Target in Maryland, they don't have like a wine section. And this Target, where I, close where I live, they have a freaking whole ass wine section and like beers and stuff. And look what I found. They have a freaking Aveline wine. I was looking for the, the red one, but they don't have it. They only have this right here which is i cannot wait to try and then i also got some creamer which is um i'm gonna try this this is from califia uh old creamer right here all right for the second bag i got the scrub daddy which is the only why the only reason why i went there is for this sponge right here because i love this sponge so much so i got that it's like a four pack it's cheaper than the the big smiley ones and this is the soft cleaner from bar keepers friend i haven't tried this brand but i saw this um cleaner slash like she do like cleaning on like tiktok and she recommended this one so i'm gonna try that for the sink it says you can use this for cookware kitchen bathroom so excited to that and then i got Oh, I also got, I want some coffee grounds because um, I don't have any coffee grounds anymore for my coffee. So this, I was going to get the Pete's, but the Pete's are expensive than the Starbucks one. So I just got the Starbucks one because they were on sale. I got the breakfast blend and I also got the Columbia. I've tried these two before and they're really good and um, they were on sale as well. So I got these. Um, and oh, this was a need as well because we don't have any parchment paper. So I got some parchment paper and this uh, cut right wax paper as well. So I got that. And I was looking for a planner. And surprisingly, all the Target, like all the planners were like, most of them are like sold out. And I kind of like this one right here. It's just very, um, I needed a new planner because 2022 is like a couple days from now. So I want to get like a planner. I was going to order one online. But then I, I don't want to wait until like they ship. But I kind of like this one right here. Which is uh, the same. I think the same brand I got from a couple years ago. And I love how they have like the stickers right here. Um, they have like appointment sticker. Doctor appointment follow up. They have the today's to-do list. Um, birth dates. Remember to finance check in. Wish list. Self care. Red juice. Stuff like that. So they have like that sticker so I can, you know, use the sticker to put it. And then I also love the green, like sagey green looking. And have like my year bucket list, which is I'm going to be, you know, writing it down. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this. It's really kind of like tiny, but like it kind of reminds me of my other uh, planner from a couple years ago. But yeah, I got this as well. And then I wasn't planning on getting these, but this was on clearance. And I think now looking at it, I'm going to plan on putting this around the entryway when I have my entryway table or console. And this was on clearance, besties. Guess what? How much the price is. Most of the Christmas stuff and they even have like the bedding from Casa Luna, but it was like, uh, like the color was really, really like mahogany. It's just a little bit warm for me i want something like bright and just like neutral but this one right here it was on clearance for nine dollars yeah nine dollars and then originally it was 30 bucks and i snugged it right away the only thing is it has this like i don't know if you guys can see it any kind of like bluish mark i don't know what's going on there but i don't mind at all but she is heavy so i got this as well because i'm planning on putting this around the um entryway hi besties i don't even know what vlog date it is like the moving day 
vloggy i don't know i just got done filming a unboxing and i also did some instagram story about the ana luisa pieces that i received the other day or no last week and so far i have been like i said i have been loving them and i have a video tonight as well so with the vlogs i have yeah the three i have like two consecutive back-to-back -back vlogs and then tonight i have another vlog so and i'm also currently editing the other vlog which is like another moving vlog like i said i don't even know what day the vlog is this i'm filming but anyways um so far so far the kitchen is looking nice it's not like clean clean nice but so far so good um like i said this since our air fryer is like taking i mean it's big you cannot we cannot put this in the cabinets because it's just very bulky but for now she's just gonna sit there and so far so good i've been loving like the look of the kitchen we do or um we're planning on putting a backsplash maybe like next year um um you know because i just don't like the look without without the backsplash so we're that's like our project hopefully by next year and um i should have got the espresso machine sooner because right now they're not on sale anymore which is kind of like sad the espresso machine that i really want to get is from Revell espresso machine i'm kind of like 50 50 if i want to get an espresso or i want to get like the actual um espresso machine because i like my coffee really really strong um i don't know because the nespresso is a little bit cheaper not just like a little bit but it's cheaper than the actual Breville espresso machine that i want to get but they're not on sale anymore because i was gonna get them on sale like last black friday and we're moving and i don't want to add up more space to what we already have because we we're not even sure if we can fit all of our stuff in a u-haul so i was like maybe i'll wait maybe it'll do another sale or whatnot but no they stopped the sale which is kind of like <sighs> annoying <laughs> just kind of like pissed on myself i should have just snagged it and like picked it up around here I, I, see i wasn't thinking that way but anyways i'm gonna eat some lunch or like late brunch lunch whatever you call that because i'm freaking hungry i've been filming and i've been cleaning for the past couple of hours and i haven't i haven't eaten anything so i'm gonna make some lunch and yes i'll update you best please later we just got home from walmart and lowe's and buffalo wild wings what we finally got some of what is it floor mat right like the mat doormat. yeah doormat i'm sorry not floor mat it's a doormat and i'm just gonna take this out we got this from lowe's and i think it's like 14 dollars yeah i just want something simple that we can like wipe our 